Recently, I did two videos on the TDH3 from TID Radio. I gave TID Radio lots of kudos for all the features they packed in that sub $40 radio. Some of the commenters gave me guff, saying I was fighting dirty, comparing a $40 radio to radios that cost 10x and 15x. Well, that's not at all what I was doing. I was showing what a spurious emissions radio looks like compared to radios without spurious emissions, and how that shows up on a tiny Spectrum Analyzer Ultra. I wasn't fighting dirty, but today I'm going to. Let's push aside those radios which are known to be clean radios, and let's pull in radios that are known to be dirty. This last one doesn't at all have that reputation but it's a low cost radio. So now let's talk about a dirty radio, another radio with a reputation of being dirty, and oh my, the one that has the greatest reputation of all time, the king of dirty, the UV5R. I'll prove to you today that just because you're cheap, that doesn't mean you have to be dirty. To fight fair, all these radios are going to be transmitting on the same frequency, 146.520, all at high power. I'm running my iPhone stopwatch so you can see there's no trickery. I don't stop the video at all. I don't edit. This is radio after radio after radio. They are required to have any secondary be 40 dB below the fundamental. And then there's a secondary requirement of a negative 16.2 dBm. It takes the tiny SA Ultra a couple of seconds to settle into its final reading. And at that point, I'll pause so we can get a closer look at it. It appears that on marker number three, we're going to have a pass on the 40 dB below the fundamental, but on that negative 16.2 requirement, we have a fail, we're at 14.5. That is a fail. Let's head on to the UV5R, and it's actually not a UV5R. This is the GT5R. Obviously, it's a UV5R variant. We all know, or should know, that the GT5R is known to be a clean radio. We're gonna find out. Tapping to the screen there, just got rid of that menu on the right hand side. And before you know it, once the tiny SA settles in, look at that, there is no secondary. Did you see that? A UV5R variant is a clean radio. This is not only a sub $40 radio, this is likely a sub $30 radio. Going to prove just because you're cheap doesn't mean you need to be dirty. And how about the TalkPod? When the TalkPod first came out, it just went after YouTuber by YouTuber by YouTuber, hooking up to a tiny SA, and oh my, the readings were bad. I did a brief review of that original TalkPod and let TalkPod know what I thought. I thought they had some great features for a low-cost radio. There were several things I took issue with. TalkPod was more than professional in how they communicated with me and looked for input. They reached out recently and said, can we send you the A36 Plus? It's an 8-watt radio, and we've fixed the spurious emissions. I thought to myself, I love HTs. I love testing them. Why not? Let's see if they actually did it. This came to me from Amazon. They do not have a secret agent in my local Amazon warehouse to have hand-picked a radio. This is from General Stock, and look at that. No secondary. No secondary from TalkPod on their second attempt. So they at least got that right. So now we have a second sub $40 HT demonstrating that just because you're cheap, that doesn't mean you have to be dirty. I've known of Redivis for some time, but I've really only recently started working with their radios. And I'm going to say I am quite impressed with the quality construction performance, and they have a reputation for being clean radios. So don't misunderstand that being here in this group. This is not here because it has a bad reputation. This is here because it's another low cost radio showing that you don't have to be dirty just because you're cheap. It's probably the most expensive of the radio here on the workbench, maybe... $50 on sale, $60 on sale, but it is a solid performing radio showing that for a basic entry into the market, it can be clean. Not a single secondary on the screen. Question asked and question answered. You don't have to be dirty just because you're cheap. Of these manufacturers on the table in front of us today, Redivis is the one with the best reputation for durability, quality, functionality, and no spurious emissions. I don't own a single Redivis radio that sends out spurs. I like the TDH3, very full featured, amazing what they packed into that radio. Spurs, TalkPod, gee whiz, the first offering, wow. You got this right as far as spurious emissions. I don't know what else is lurking out there. I haven't investigated. UV5R, well, of course it has its reputation, but you can get a clean one. It's a GT5R. I recommend Radiotity. I'll leave my 
link to Radiodity in the description below. It's a discount for $15 off, I think 60 or $65. One of these will run you probably 30 or less, so my discount code will be meaningful. I hope you found this useful and just a little bit fun. Talk to you soon, friend. 73.